Hey guys, so hope everyone's had a lovely Saturday. Is today Saturday? No. Today is Friday. I hope everyone's had a lovely Friday and have something planned for this evening. Jason and I are going to see Jeff Tate from Queensryche in the Empire, which is our wedding reception venue. I'm so excited to see it just about a month before we get married. Um, it'll be my last time in that. So I just wanted to make the start of my video for this evening. As you can see, I'm all ready to go out. Nice outfit on, whatever. Um, but whenever I get back, I will film a quick nighttime routine video. It's not going to be much. Probably just what product I use to take off my makeup. Um, but yeah, so I hope you all have a nice night. And it's only two more sleeps to Santa. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey guys, so as I said earlier on, I was going to the Jeff Tate gig in the Empire, which is my wedding uh, venue. Was a bit of a surreal feeling thinking that the next time I'm there I'm actually going to be a missus, so quite exciting there. But the gig was really good, it was a little bit alternative to your usual sort of Saturday night out, a little acoustic number, with um, a very nice festive cover at the end of Fairy Tale of New York, and there was even some snow, so, but... Um, if you haven't, check it out. I did enjoy it. Um, it was a very good evening. I do have a big dirty stamp on my hand now. I hate these things. But what I'm going to do now, as you can see, I'm pretty much ready for bed. Apart from I'm still wearing my clothes. But I'm just going to very quickly run through my nighttime skincare regime. So first off, I need a couple of these buddies. My favourite cotton pads. And I'm just going to start by using my Pro Studio Glycolic Glow Tonic Toner. And we're just going to use this to pretty much take off the most of my makeup. And then I will do some cleansing and moisturising. What I do as well, as I've mentioned before, because I have extensions, I do have to sleep in plaits. But as I already went out with these, I'm just going to put on a slick of coconut oil probably before I go to bed. And that would be them. So we're just going to soak with a cotton pad. It kind of looks like pee, but it's not. And I just want to hold this on my eye for a couple of seconds. I are a pirate. And we just want to sweep away the eyeshadow like that. You don't want to go too hard. And just look upwards just to make sure that you're getting it all. Look at that. That is gross. And just flip the pad over so that you're not just smearing it over your face. One of the best feelings in the world that my male viewers won't realise is actually taking off your makeup after a night out after having um, sealant spray on. Another one of the best feelings is taking your brow off after a long day and I'm just stinging my eyes. Sorry. <laughs> and then we're just going to do the same on the other eye. Just hold for a couple of seconds. Got a bit of a watery eye going on here, sorry. And wipe it clean. As you can see it is quite powerful. So you hopefully shouldn't need to hold that for too long. But this is just really to take the, the most of it off and then you take the rest off with your cleanser. So as you can see, it is coming off quite nicely. Bit of a cold coming on. Ugh. Okay, so you want to do the same and use some more of your tonic, whatever you use to take off your makeup. Sorry, toner, not tonic. And we're just going to sweep this over the rest of our face. Just gently so that you don't pull your skin. Because pulling your skin makes wrinkles. And as I mentioned in a previous video, you want to take care of your skin from as early as possible. Drink lots of water, get 8 hours sleep. The usual malarkey. And obviously have a nice skincare regime, both in the morning and the night. I would recommend that you do have a slightly uh, stronger skincare regime at night because your skin recovers as you sleep. 
Look at that. Lovely. Lovely. And we're just going to sweep it off. I look and feel like a different woman. <laughs> know what you can do. I'm just going to do an experiment and see. Ooh, it seems to be working. So that's a hint for you if you ever go out to bars or clubs and they give you a big dirty stamp. You can use a skin toner to pretty much remove it. There you go, you learn something new every day. So once you've taken off any stamps or makeup that you have, you can move on to the next stage. And I am using my simple purifying cleansing lotion and this will just really take off the remainder of any makeup that we've had on. And again I'm using quite a bit because it is night time and we want to give our skin a treat. So doop 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 and it's time for bed. No, I joke. I'm joking. You just want to moisturise this into your skin without folding up the cotton pad, obviously. And we're just going to make sure that that go, uh, is absorbed in. So I hope everyone had a nice Saturday eve, for, sorry, Friday evening. Because it's the holidays, I'm totally confused as to what day we're on. But it's Friday, Friday, Friday. It's almost Santa time. Hope you all have a nice Christmas as well. And get everything you've asked for. And with your cleanser, you can bring it down your neck as well, just for some extra treats. So now that should be all of the makeup actually off. Um, I'll just tidy up as I go because that's a habit of mine. Whoops. Next, what I do, I apply um, a little lip scrub. I'm using my Kiko lip scrub. And this just takes off any dead skin that's built up on my lips throughout the day with the cold weather. I would get very chapped lips around this time of year so this is very useful. Because no one wants flaky skin in their lipstick. So you just give it a scrub across. but at the same time you don't want to go too hard. So once I've done that, I'm going into my night cream. As I've shown you before, this is just from Asda. I think it was about £2.50. And we're just going to lather this all over our face. So, as thick as you can, because it will really help to rehydrate your skin. And just circular motions. And down the neck. And a little bit more if you wish. You can also use overnight. Uh, I would recommend bio oil um, because it is nice and oily but it does dry in quite quickly. It's more of a dry oil consistency. But I like my night cream so once we've done that just pop the lid back on and I'm going to apply another little moisturizer only this time this is for my lips. So this is my Keiko Night Balm and this just really moisturises my lips as I sleep. So you just want to put a little bit on your finger and apply it to your lips. Again you can apply as little or as much as you like. The more the better. Sometimes I wear this during the day, if I'm outside. 
because it is a lot thicker and it just makes my lips nice and plump the next day. So that is pretty much my nighttime regime. I generally now would go downstairs, have a cup of tea, but I have no milk, so I'll not be doing that. I'll probably just go and get a glass of Diet Coke, watch a bit of TV, or a bit of Elf, because that is my favourite movie to watch at this time of year, and go to bed. So I hope you've all had a nice Friday evening. I got it right this time. And I shall see you soon for the next video in my Christmas collection. Have a good night. Bye!